Now, loneliness is something most of us, regardless of age, will experience at some point in our lives. But now a scheme's been set up in Darlington to try to make that less likely. It's called Good Friends, and in just six months, it's attracted more than 500 volunteers who are willing to help others in need of friendship or support. Well, for one man, it's proved a double bonus. He now has a good friend, and he's been reunited with an old colleague he hadn't seen for 30 years. Chantal Edmonds reports. 88-year-old Ernest has no living family, but he does now have a good friend who comes and visits him once a week. Naturally, when you get to my age, you do a lot of talking to yourself, but you don't get very sensible answers. So your day becomes just a routine, really, from morning till night. In fact, the best part of the day is when you go to bed and you can get some sleep. Just to have somebody like Liz knowing that she's going to come down every Tuesday and have a cup of tea and a natter with me makes that day something special. And Liz is enjoying her newfound role as volunteer. It's nice to help somebody and Ernest likes me to come round and listen to his stories, which I love to do. And he's very entertaining. He's got lots of things to talk about, especially the RAF, which I love to hear about. And... Um, yeah, we get on. Joining Good Friends has had an unexpected benefit too. Ernest is meeting Ian, an old friend and work colleague that he hasn't seen in 30 years. The venue, Age UK in Darlington, who set up the Good Friends initiative six months ago, with 500 volunteers signing up to extend the hand of friendship. And what better way to catch up on the last three decades than over a hot lunch? We've been going through all the times we had together, you know. Uh, when and he was at the Eclipse School and I was finance manager in the social services. But it was quite nice to see him again. And I deliberately didn't ring him, although I knew his telephone number because I knew we were meeting here today. But in future, of course, we will be talking to each other a lot on the phone, I'm sure. Well, it looks as though the Good Friends initiative has certainly benefited Ernest and there's hopes that it can put even more smiles on faces in the town. Chantal Edmonds, BBC Look North, Darlington. And you can hear more on the subject of the North East being dubbed the loneliest region in the country all this week on BBC Tees. That's with Ali Brownlee from six o'clock in the morning.